Paul says, I've been setting up blogger accounts in IFTTT networks, and when I go to set up the G Plus badge, the ID number in both the profile and the page URLs are both the same number. No, you're wrong, Paul. You're, you're confusing two different pages on one Google account instead of the di there's a difference between a Google profile and a Google page and what you're listing right here both yet both address work to each you say here's an example of the latest account I'm trying to build out as you can see the ID numbers are the same but yet, yet both addresses work to each page well that, see that's because this is going to be this looks like a profile instead of a page yeah. okay there are different types yeah, and, and and so all your what you're showing here is just a different. Um, wait a minute, hold on, let's go back to about. Yeah, okay. So the only thing you this is the same. If you change the tab, all you're doing is changing. It's basically like this is like a mini website, and these are just pages. Okay, so you, this is a profile. What you need to do is take a look at your Google Plus page, and that's going to be a different i um uh you know ID number. Okay, that'll be a different ID number. And you have to make sure that inside a blogger that you're selecting whether you're using a profile page or a profile or, or excuse me, or a um a profile badge or a page badge. You have to specify that and you have to make sure that you have the corresponding ID in correctly. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense, Paul. Um I you I think you're confusing the difference between pages on a Google Plus profile or uh, like you know, in internal pages, I should say, or, or other tabs, in order to keep the terminology straight. Let's say other tabs. These would be considered other tabs on this profile. Okay. So, but that's not the same as a, a Google Plus page is going to be different than a profile. And a lot of the times, you can just tell because of um, the the about page itself. You're going to see a different set of. Um, categories here or sections, a different set of sections over here. You won't see a contributor to on a page. You, you only see a contributor to section on a profile. Um, if you want to take a look at, let's see if we've got a page open. Let's go take a look at pages real quick. And we'll just take Let's see. Okay, stop that. Let's go look at, well, let's go look at this one, How to SEO. This is a business page. Wait a minute. There we go. They changed the menus, the navigation inside of Google+, and it's weird to me. All right, so this is the difference. So you see, this This is what you'll see on a page. The, cat the ID up here is going to be different, obviously, and then also you'll see story, uh, communities, and then you'll see links, but you'll notice there's no contributor to section here. They don't have that because a contributor to section is is for Google authorship, which is still alive and well. They just don't show authorship images and search results anymore, guys. So authorship is still alive and well. So you'll see contributor to section right here in about, and that means you can set up authorship, which means this is a profile where this is a page. Does that make sense? Hopefully that's clear. So Paul, just make like I said, just double check. If you purchased networks from us, you're going to see a clear line. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me just open up this real quick, and we'll show you in the account workbook template. There is two sections for this. There's a Google Plus profile right here that goes right here, and the Google Plus page which goes right here. They're going to be two different URLs, not two different URLs meaning it either says posts or about at the end. It's going to be two different um, Google ID numbers.